Vector versus Magni. Hello fellas, how are you doing? Welcome to another Hearthstone deck presentation video. Today we are looking at the Control Hunter deck. We are not seeing that uh, often on the ladder. It's the deck made by Ruski Du. Uh, he was able to reach the legend with it. And it's feature featuring Yogg Theron and Reno Jackson as well as the Explorer's Hat. That one can be used to increase the value of the Yogg Theron. Uh, going against the Warrior here, we will keep the Sofinley and the Quick Shot. And getting the Yogg Theron is not good on the starting hand. As you can see in the deck list, the deck is pretty, pretty expensive. So you might want to. Uh, play another deck if you have not all the legendaries. So playing the Safinla here, and we are taking the shape shift. And that's the Alex Rather's champion, so we are facing Dragon Warrior. Can easily easily kill the Alex Rather here with the quick shot. And the weapon comes a bit too early. We want to take it with the Harrison Jones. So hopefully he is not attacking if we are not playing any minions. So he's playing the Ravaging Ghoul without an effect. Next turn we will drop the Harrison Jones. I will hunt you down. And he's also playing the Twilight Guardian. And still not attacking, so we are getting both um, the abilities and draw two cards. Another Twilight Guardian. So we have uh, six mana here. We could use the uh, Pyromancer, play the Hunter's Mark of one of the on one of the Twilight Guardians, and then with the Deadly Shot we will be able to clear the board. can of course also um, keep the deadly shot for now and just kill the Twilight Guardian. Then he will attack with the Ravaging Ghoul. That might be even better. Getting another minion out of the King's Elect, hopefully. There it is, so that's a Drake for us. So now dropping the deadly shot. Get rid of the Blackwing Corruptor. We also playing the Acolyte of Pain. And next turn we have a few good options. We can play the Ragnarok Fire Lord. We have the Call of the Wild. As well as the Baron might be good. There's one Fairy Dragon and another one. Also armoring up. So Call of the Wild might be great. We can kill one of the Fairy Dragons with the Acolyte of Pain. Getting another card draw. There's a Savannah and we're hitting him for 5 in the face. As a Dragon Warrior, he's not likely to play any Brawl. So it's that's no matter if we have uh, too many minions on the board. Me 
maybe th no no no. As a Gromash health scream, we might want to uh, silent that one. Or we can also play the Baron here and kill it with the Leorg and the Baron. That's good as well. We have played already a few spells, so the Yoxuan could give us enough value to play it now. But if we not if we don't need to, we will save him. There's a double slam on the Baron. And the weapon will he hit him. He's indeed hitting him, taking seven damage down to fifteen. And in this case, we can just play the Ragnaros, also getting the Gladiator's Longbow, so that will deal even more damage next turn. So that's 9 to the face with the hero power. And he is down to 8. So the Longbow with the hero power will deal another 6 damage next turn. And he also needs to get rid of the Ragnaros. And he's playing another Ragnaros. Hopefully not hitting ourselves. Oh no, the Ragnaros is gone. That's a bit mean. Play Zelvana. Also dropping the explosive trap for more damage. And hit him. If the Ragnaros is hitting the hero here. We might win the game with the Sylvana and the Longbow. And if the Ragnaros is hitting Sylvana, we can steal a minion. So in general, the Ragnaros here, if he's not playing another minion. There's the Arch Thief. So that means we should win the game here. Taking two extra damage with the Explosive Trap, we have the Longbow. And if he's killing the Sylvana and we are getting the Arse Thief, we will definitely win. If we are getting the Ragnaros, we may be win. So we win the game here. Let none survive. So let's try our luck again. And we have a Another hunter here against us. Definitely don't need the control cards. Uh, we can keep the Blood Mage Thalnos as an early drop that might uh, battle the Fury Bat. And we're also drawing another card. Getting the Explosive Shot, Stampeding Kodo and the King Select. Oh boy, he is slow, man. So we are starting. He's not putting out anything, in this case we will save the coin for now, play the king next turn. We might need the coin later on to put out the explosive shot a turn earlier. Oh, that's a flame juggler. No problem right now. 
But he can play a bit faster, please. It's not too hard. So let's see what we are drawing with the king. Hopefully we are drawing, of course. There's the baron. So now he knows that we are not playing midrange hunter. That might change his game plan a bit. Eagle on bow will kill the king and he will give us two more damage with the flame jungler. Getting the Elise here, but we won't play her. Let's drop the blood match here and give him another target to attack. Going for the flame juggler. The flame juggler is now at two. We are getting the Reno Jackson, that is great. And the explosive shot will be enough to kill both minions. But of course, uh, as the board right now is not too um, too aggressive here for us, so we might just coin into the stampeding Kodo. Let's keep the explosive shot for now. We have the Reno Jackson in hand, so we can uh, play a bit slower. Have a deadly shot, killing the Kodo. And he will hit us for only two. He's not attacking with the weapon. Interesting. We are playing the Elise now. Getting the map to the Golden Monkey into the deck. With the high man on the board, and also already getting the map to the golden monkey, uh, with the high man on the board, we have a few options. Could uh, kill the flame juggler here, then put out the deadly shot, or we play the explosive shot, kill both minions, and kill one of the hyans with uh, uh, Elise. We will put out. Um, he will put out the Call of the Wild later on in the game, so we might need the explosive shot. Get back. So let's keep the explosive shot. Also playing the map to the Golden Monkey. Drawing another card. And there's the Animal Companion. Outmaster will buff one of the Hyanes. And he's also playing the Carrying Grub. So that board is a bit scary now. With a possible Call of the Wild on turn 8, we need to get rid of some of the minions here. Could play the explosive shot on the Houndmaster. So the Yen will be at two. Second one also. And the Karen Grub will be at three life. And we can also play the explosive trap. So he will only get the Karen Grub when he attacks. And also, if he plays the Call of the Wild, the Huffer will be dead. Ooh, there's a kill command. Let's see, he has five more. Tundra Reno is also bad if he has a call of the wild. We have our own call of the wild here, of course. But if we kill the Tundra Reno with the Call of the Wild, with the Hafra, we still have uh, one beast on the board, so if he has another kill command, he can kill us with the Steady Shot. So for now, I'd like to 
play the Reno Jackson and go the safe route, also hitting the Reno Jackson with the Explorer head. Oh, an infested wolf. And he's going to the face here. It's not too bad for us. Let's drop the Call of the Wild. Definitely killing the Reno. And let's hit him for 5 in the face. So he is at 70 now. We are at 21. With the Animal Companion, the Eagle on Bow and the Hero Power, we have a lot of damage potential in the hand. Plus, of course, the board. It's another Infested Wolf that won't help him much. Aaron drop and he has a quick shot, so he's killing the Misha, drawing another card. Infested Wolf will kill our Huffer. There's a longbow. Uh, we have 8 damage here, 10. So if we are getting the... If we're getting the Huffa out of the Animal Companion, we could win the game right away. But we could also play it very safe and just play the Baron. This way his whole board will die. So I like this one better. We are killing the infested wolf here with the weapon. And hit him for 8. Then we will be at um, 14 after this turn. We have 3 minutes on the board. And it's super unlikely that we lose now. Another quick shot, drawing an extra card. Getting the explosive head again. So we will win anyway. If it's a freezing trap, we win. If it's an explosive trap, we win. And so do we. He's giving up another victory. GG. If you have enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe and check out my other content as well. You can also follow me on Twitter and Twitch as well as supporting me on Patreon.com. Thanks for watching the video and see you soon.